Hey, hello. I am Darian Bailey, a library specialist at NC State University Libraries that specializes in creative design and video creation. And this is a one take workshop. One take workshops are pre recorded workshops edited in post that are streamed or premiered on our library's channel. We also make these workshops to provide students at NC State with an understanding of the processes of professional creation that can be useful in their own creative projects. So feel free to interact with us in the live chat or comments. In this workshop called College and Collage, Community Engagement and Visitor Relations Librarian, Laura Fontaine, and Graduate Extension Assistant at the Makerspace, Kelsey Dufresne, will teach you how to collage while discussing the importance of incorporating moments of creativity during your academic journey. So welcome to our One Take Workshop. Okay. I'm so excited. I probably won't use that one as much, so it doesn't matter. All right, so you are going to be kind of like directing me in a way. Not directing me, but I'm going to oh, take advice I? from you. Oh. Well, because my, so my experience with collaging, I mean, maybe we should save this for when we're actually... Are we going? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> my experience with collaging is mostly with like creative, with the creative yeah. journaling stuff. So I just like have a bunch of like stickers or pieces of paper yeah. and things like that, which I guess is kind of the same that as is this. this. Yeah, but um, yeah. I just like go through and I'm like, okay, what do I? What are these books? What do I though? Like? I've never seen. These I got before. these for the makerspace. Um, because this is amazing. We had for some of the fem making nights, like we had a paper crafts and a class came in here one time and they had these and I was like, we should get this because I usually do collaging from newspapers and magazines. Yeah. And I use like NC States, like, um, Oh uh, yeah. The Nuvia message and agro, not the agro mech, the technician. Yeah. And I'll just cut those apart. But I was like, Oh, this is great. Because, like, if you don't have time to go pick up all these newspapers. Yeah, this is really cool. Yeah, and, like, this one has really big, like, I love to add things to things. So, like, this is. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, big, big things. Like, paintings and the such. All right. Nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I just like to cut things out and see where I go. Oh, oh, intro. Oh, oh, intro, <laughs> intro. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. going to try really hard not to mess up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, I'll go first. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Hi, everyone. I'm Lara Fonte, and I'm the Community Engagement and Visitor Relations Librarian. And I am Kelsey Dufresne, and I'm the Graduate Extension Assistant here with the Makerspace at DHO Library. And today, we are going to do some collaging. Yes. And we're going to talk you through how to do collaging, what you might need, what it can look like, and how you can do it at home or wherever you are. And also just talking a little bit about the makerspace where we are right now. Yeah. That's, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I guess we'll get started. Yes. So we have these really cool collaging books that we have here in the makerspace, but also alternatively you can use newspapers, magazines. I know I get a ton of like magazines in the mail. For, oh, like if yeah. I have bought one light bulb from Lowe's, they just send me magazines about light bulbs. So I try to recycle, repurpose, reuse. And so if you don't have a collage book, that's a great alternative. Yeah, and then also I've used, like, um, I've gotten, like, stickers or other types of, like, scrapbooking things um, can also alternatively be used for collaging, because I guess scrapbooking is also kind of a form of collage. Um, So I do a lot of stickers and a lot of, like, littler pieces of paper that are just, like, kind of like this thing. Mm Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, just cutting them out or whatever, or just... Putting them on completely. We're collaging on this thing, right? Yeah, we can okay. collage wherever. Just putting them on here and then layering. A lot of layering. Yeah, it's just layering, cutting out lots of pieces or having lots of little pieces. And then, yeah, making whatever you like. <laughs> yeah. So my, I like, my process for collaging is always like, I get stuck with the, like, where to start. Mm Mm-hmm. And then I just start picking out stuff that I like. Yeah. And cutting it up. And then just placing it. But I always end up doing too much. Or at least I think it's too much. But anyways, I get really excited by all the things. Because I want all the things on there. Um, During COVID, collaging was my comfort craft. And I spent a whole week just cutting stuff up. 
and then I collaged things together for a while and then it was just chaos. But yeah, I like to do the same thing, starting out with pieces and then just seeing how they all fit together. And there's no right or wrong way to do this. No, especially like if I, all, that's also what like trips me up is that I want it to look nice and look right yeah. or whatever, but. There's no right or wrong way. No. And if you want to use all of the things that you have and layer as much as you want, you can do that yeah. and it will still look amazing. Let's see. Ooh. I haven't looked through this one. Ooh. I love the flowers. The flowers make me happy. Yeah. Um... Hmm. Hmm. These are like almost like stickers. Yeah, they the literally are like the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, except you just have to cut them out. I love these books. I did not know these They're existed. great. There's so many. I think we got these ones on Amazon. <gasps> and there's just so many. I got, these are three different like brands, I think, because I wanted to see. They're all different, but like, so each one of these brands then has like three billion hundred not really but a ton of other ones just like it oh and in terms of cutting materials so what some other supplies we have um we're just oh, yeah. using some cardboard so recycled cardboard um as a base you can also just use a sheet of paper or whatever you would like things to adhere to you don't have to use the cardboard but the cardboard's great because it also doubles as a cutting board if you're oh. using an exacto knife which i like to do that way you can get in the nooks and crannies um, which is great, but you can also use, like, we have tiny sewing scissors or regular scissors. And then... Kid-friendly. Kid-friendly scissors. Um, we have <laughs> Elmer's glue stick and my favorite rubber cement because it dries clear and you can just rub off the excess. Oh. This is great. Have you ever used rubber cement? No, I haven't. Oh, oh, it's so great. <laughs> it's great. I use a lot of, um, at home, I use Mod Podge. Oh, or yeah. Or Mod Podge. Which yeah. One? I forget how you say it. I call it Mod Podge, but I don't know if that's because I say hodgepodge. Yeah. I'm not really sure. Anyways, Mod Podge, Mod Podge, whatever it's called. <laughs> um, I use that, and then I also have, like, these, like, um, it's like white out, but it's not white out. It's tape. Oh. So it's like a roll-on adhesive, basically. Mm -hmm. Um. So I use that. But you can also use like tape. There's like no something sticky and something to make sticky. That's all you need for collaging. Yes. And I like to follow on Instagram a lot of collage accounts because I get super inspired by all the fun things they do. Like when people take old retro photos and then collage... I don't know, modern day things onto pictures from the 50s. I'm like, this is brilliant. Ooh. This is what I want to do with my life, is learn how to do that. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but this is how I'm doing it. <laughs> no, that looks good. Yeah. And it dries clear, but it smells pretty um, strong. Awful. Yeah. It's not a lovely scent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That is rough. But we have rubber cement here in the makerspace, too. Sticky fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I like this. I need another one bowl. of these. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> and these are so pretty. Though. They are pretty. They were um, the same thing. We had a student that was going to teach uh, origami. Oh. So that's why we have a lot of these like supplies in here. That's nice. Yes. Yeah, so in the makerspace everything you could need you have to do the safety orientation mm -hmm. to make sure that you can safely and responsibly which is online right? yes it is online you can find it on our website you can also come in here and use a qr code to go to it directly and um it's not too long it's not too intensive it's just to make sure that we're all being safe and careful and respectful in the space and then once you do that um, you can use the maker space during your entire experience of being an nc state student which is lovely I'm done with that. Oh, hi. <laughs> this, woo! My God! Yeah, it's strong. So strong. Yeah, they let us use that as eighth graders. That's wild. Yeah. You know, I think I had a similar experience as a kid, but I just don't remember it. Probably because Probably of the because fumes. Of, yeah. Blue. I was hoping there was going to be a Luna Moth on here. Oh. Which or Lunar Moth, but I, which there probably was. Yeah, I might have cut it out to put it on since I'm sure. I love no. her. Isabella. She is very pretty. Thank you. I love her too. 
<laughs> now I also feel like I should be using an exacto knife. But... No, use whatever you like. Hmm. Sometimes the exacto knife isn't worth it. So like this is like really big and there's not that many nooks and crannies. So it's like not entirely necessary. Okay. Also the nice part too about collaging is like it doesn't have to be perfect you're cutting because yeah. it is a collage and you likely are probably going to layer something over the edge or there's going to be something right next to it. Like yeah. no one is going to notice that you didn't cut nicely. Let's see. Yeah. In a straight line. Yeah. Could I borrow that cut and collage book, please? I'm hoarding the books over <laughs> here. Thank yeah. you. I'll put this one over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't That's really okay. have a vision. I so... saw this fishbowl and I was like, that could be a thing. Oh, but now I'm seeing, here's another Isabel. Ooh. Yeah. I'm... I think I want to do something like that. Yeah. Do you want this person? There's also this person. Ooh. I would like to put like an animal face on that person. Oh, go for it. Yeah, I think that would be fun. That would be fun. Okay, so I like to do these like big, I like to take where there's something big already and then you kind of just distort it and make it very exciting and confusing. Um, That's like so creative. And Thank I'm you. just like, I'm finding like things I like and pasting them down. Yeah, well, no, it's all, there's no right or wrong way oh. to collage. Ooh, but I also kind of like that. It's pretty. That's the hard part, too, is Everything's there's so pretty. many things that I like. That's how I end up with just a jumbled board of stuff. I like it. It's a mood is board. I just have just kept adding because yeah. I can't make up my mind. <laughs> when you do the stickers, like... Oh, yeah. How do you put, like, a lip? Do you limit it? How do you do that when it's no, stickers? No, <laughs> I don't limit it. Um, I guess sort of in my mind, yeah, I kind of limit, like, how many stickers I want. I yeah. try to pick a theme, too. So, okay. like, the one thing I've been working on recently is a book journal. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm, like, keeping track of all the books I've read this year. And so a lot of it is just, like, there's a lot of, like, different types of stationery mm -hmm. and, like, book stickers and things like that and just kind of like you know oh. typeface other sorts of things and uh, so that's kind of the theme so like all of my stuff is centered Themed around on that. that yeah yeah and then I try to throw in like some things if the about the book too oh. so there was this one piece like I read the golden compass and yeah. um oh that's such a there was book. one picture that looked kind of like a golden compass yeah. so I put that on there so anyways that's kind of my process. I like that. For that. Thanks. How often do you do things like this? Um, so with hobbies, I go through phases. Me too. I'm a hobby collector. Me too. It's kind of a problem. I but my know. hobbies that I collect, it's not they're not, it's not like I want to go gem mining and get really into like right. harvesting diamonds right. or something really expensive. It's or like I bought a sewing smithing. machine. Yeah. I bought crochet needles. Crochet needles. I bought a no. cricket. Like that's my hobby collecting. Yeah. yeah. Those are also like, yeah. I, yeah. I, my hobbies, I'm like, okay, I have a ball of yarn. What can I do with the ball of yarn? And I'm like, okay, this ball of yarn wasn't expensive. It's okay if I like, so I don't feel too bad yeah. if I let the hobby go. Yeah. Um, I like, need to feel that bad. <laughs> no. Because, I mean, a sewing machine is not cheap and a cricket is not really cheap yeah. either. But, and we have both of those here in the makerspace. True. So yeah. if you are a hobby collector like us. Come to the makerspace. Come to the makerspace. Then you won't have company. to spend money on your hobbies. And you won't feel bad if, yes. if it doesn't work out. Exactly. But also, like, it probably will work out because there's people here in the makerspace that can help you learn how to use a cricket, learn how to use a sewing machine. Yes. Like there was someone here last semester making pants out of like velvet and that was super cool. <gasps> yeah, and I saw I helped someone embroider a Taylor Swift eras themed uh, sweatshirt. So if you Ooh. want to go be a Swifty, come here. The makerspace official endorser of Taylor, of Taylor Swift, Swift Swifties. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> Yeah, so like 
when I'm in a phase, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and this should also make the audience feel better about my cricket purchase. So I was in a phase where I was like, I had, what happened was, I learned how to use a cricket here. Yes. True story. I, I used a cricket here for a t-shirt, and I was like, this is so cool. Yeah. So then I bought it one. It is very cool. And then I like... Did it for a couple, like, I customized a couple things. Like, we had, we got my daughter a stocking, and so I Aww. ironed on her name on there. Yeah, because you can do so much custom stuff. That's yeah. The, that's the best part of a Cricut is, like, if you want to make anything custom, you can do it. Yeah. Stockings, sweatshirts, hats, uh, coffee mugs. They yeah. did that, which was super cool. Yeah, so that's what I used it for. And then I stopped using it for a long time. And then when I started my whole creative journaling, collaging mm. thing, um, I learned that, I forgot that, like, you can also use it for writing. So I've been using it a lot for, like, writing and, like, drawing images and things uh. and stuff like that. So anyways, so I still am using the Cricut. But yeah, I go through phases. Mostly it depends on, like, you know, if there's not a new video game out that I'm playing, then I kind of go back to yeah. the collaging. I love collaging. Um, I like collaging because it's, no right or wrong way. I do best with hobbies where I there's a low margin of error. Yes. I mean, if there's yes. any chance that I can do it wrong, like I tried to learn how to macrame, which is basically tying knots in a correct fashion, and I was like, well, I can't do this correctly. And um, uh, but collaging, there's no the paper won't tell you that you're doing it wrong. Right. And then if it doesn't come out perfect, you just say it's abstract. <laughs> <laughs> so true. But yeah, I know. I met Darian in an art class, like the only art class I've taken at NC State. <laughs> oh, cool. I was so out of my element in that class, Darian. I was so overwhelmed. And then like the art class is so, like what they do when it's time to turn in assessments is that everyone looks at what you did and says, that part is bad. Like, oh, <laughs> like, yeah. Right? Like, they do a critique and I was like, can we just give compliments? This is true. <laughs> I realized, are any of these lunar butterflies? Because I realized, I remember I cut these out last time. If you want any of them. Oh, no, I don't see one. But thank you. I like the mushrooms. I lo- that's, yeah. Yes. She had, I was like, I'm going to do mushrooms, but make it look like coral. Oh, that was such a good job. That does. Thank you. I thank thought you. it was coral. Yay. <laughs> oh, my God. The power of collage. Yeah. Okay, so I am in a PhD program here at NC State, so that's how I'm a GEA here at the libraries, which is lovely, and I like collaging and doing, like, a lot of the crafting things here in the Makerspace, so a lot of people come to the Makerspace to use, like we were discussing, the sewing machines, the crickets, also the 3D printers, oops, which are on the wall in front of us, you all can't see them, but they're very popular, as are all the machines. The machines are very cool, but my heart really craves low tech making because that makes me just feel just when I can cut something with scissors and use glue and use paper it feels a lot there's like I I can easily break a 3d printer and get really stressed out about it but I can't break paper yeah so that feels very comforting to me so I love collaging because well it feels good to cut paper um and then put something make something and it feels just very relaxing I love it this is my like calm down activity. Yeah, I'd yeah. rather do this than yoga. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. For me, I like collaging because it also helps me relax. It's a nice like. I usually do it when um, I've put my daughter to bed, mm-hmm. and I have those couple hours where I can just like either choose to I don't know do whatever I want, game yeah. whatever. So <clears throat> I will sometimes use that time to creative journal, collage, whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I really like it because I like to think of myself as a creative person, but I'm not artistically inclined. That's okay. That's not a prerequisite to yeah, being creative. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, like, I don't have to draw anything, yeah. which is really nice. Um, I can kind of, like, project my ideas yeah. on paper using other people's images. So that's mm-hmm. cool. And then also... 
I have no patience. Yeah. I oh am, my gosh, we are very similar. I know. <laughs> I, also have, no I have like I need like instant gratification. I do too. And if it's not instant, I don't want to do it. Exactly. So like crocheting, knitting, sourdough making takes too long. Can't do it. This one, like you know, cr- collaging, you can like you see Done. the image that you like, like this giant cat that I wish I saw at the beginning, <laughs> and um, giant cat, and. Um, yeah, and then you, like, get satisfaction and just, like, I found this giant cat! Yeah! And then you're going to put it on this collage, and you're just, like, seeing your thing being formed. In real it, time. Yeah, and it doesn't take forever. No. So, that's... And you can stop and pause. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm getting so excited. No, no. I just keep interrupting you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, that's good. But, yes, yes, you can stop and pause. Yeah. And, um... Pause. Pause. Stop uh, and pause <laughs> to pet your cat, and um, but yes, you can stop and pause and um, yeah, and, and and come back to it. Yeah, or leave it if you decide. You can be done. That it looks amazing the way it is. Mm-hmm. And there's like yeah, it can. It doesn't. There's no. A collage is two pieces of paper glued together. It's five hundred pieces of paper glued together. Right. So it doesn't. You get to decide when it's finished, which feels nice. And it's also pretty, like, it's mindful because it's mindless almost. Like, you yes. get to just kind of. That's a really good you, I don't to have to sit it. in here think, like, oh, it's it has to be cut perfectly. Or I have to be thinking, like, do I add right, these like, two elements together perfectly? No, nope, you just kind of get to mentally mentally tune out a little bit, which I, I like that. Yeah. So I like to collage at home. Like listening to a podcast or having a TV show and the like ambient noise in the background that I can kind of listen to, chit chat, watch my dog do his thing. It's great. The moth. Oh, there's so many. Yeah. You could just surround the cat with the moth. Oh my gosh, that's an idea. <laughs> Everyone is a designer. Everyone is a designer. I heard. Um, that's good. Sasha Costanza Chalk. Who's that? Um. She came up with, or she has a book called Design Justice, oh. and she talks about how we're all designers, just not everyone is recognized as such, and any action done with intention is an act of design, Ooh. which I love. I love that. Because so rather than yeah. just saying, like, architects and um, engineers are designers, it's like, so, like, right now we're being designers, a child playing with crayons is a designer. Um, right, a that's cook, so true. A chef, anyone. So, Design Justice, great book. 10 out of 10, recommend. <laughs> I'll put a hot Yeah. <laughs> Add a link. Design Justice, here. Do we have it in the library? Yeah, I think it's in the makerspace, actually. Oh. It might be over there. Another reason to come, come to the makerspace. Yeah, we have a, a beautiful library with all sorts of wonderful texts, and like we have zines that you can read in here. Likewise, like in the Innovation Studio, there's some books in there. Um, yes. I'm trying to figure out where to place my cat. So as you can see, just a little. There's, I really didn't cut that out very nicely at all. <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, yeah. I left the edge so that I could line it up on the edge here. But like, I'm probably going to put some stuff over it, like in these areas. So like, you won't even see that. <laughs> so Design justice. That's just uh Community-led practices to build the worlds that we need. Ooh. We need this book. <laughs> Required reading, I would argue. Yeah. It's good. Um, yeah. Well, then. I will make note of it. It'll be... I wonder if it's on Libby, if I can listen oh, to it. Oh, maybe. I'm listening to a book right now called Cultish, which is not about designing, <laughs> but it is very good. <laughs> I was literally talking... We went out to dinner with our neighbors last night, and they were talking about conspiracy theories and cults. <gasps> so, you know, well, casual dinner talk. <laughs> there you go. That's my type of dinner talk. That's the kind right of podcast there. I listen to while I'm collaging. <laughs> so it's like super relaxing and high, intense audio. Yeah, hmm. a little dissonance there. Let's see. And I'll say, like, for collaging, too, so we're both, like, cutting out really tiny pieces and also really big pieces. Like, that cat's really big. And then, like, these are really big. I like to 
I find that satisfying to use a mix of big pieces and small pieces because then with big pieces you're covering a lot of surface area and then you use the smaller pieces to add in kind of more details. So, mm -hmm. you know, just a mix Whoa. of things. I'm like, These are basically my two cats in real life. Do you have two cats? Yeah, I have a gray cat Aww. and a black cat. Aww. Luna and Noctis. Aww. I love them. Are they, um... Yeah, can we put <laughs> we can. the cats right here? <laughs> I mean, it would be, well, it would be easy, super easy to get Noctis because if anyone has ever been in a Zoom call with me at, while I'm mm -hmm. working from home, they have seen Noctis. Literally. I think I have seen. It's like without fail, yeah. he will show up. When you did the, um, I don't know if it was a Twitch stream or live stream, when y'all did the gaming with, oh, was yeah. it University of Virginia? Oh, yes. I watched oh. that whole thing. You did? Yeah, it was great. Oh, my gosh. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, he probably was in there. Yeah. Are your cats mischievous? Like, um, do they like to, I like to watch videos of cats knocking glasses off of counters. They only do that when they want something. <laughs> So they do do that like in the mornings. Yeah, when, when they want food. Yes, I'm the same way. Like this morning, not this was knocking stuff off the my um, dresser. Yeah, and I wanted to murder him. <laughs> but then my husband got up and fed him, and it was fine. Aww. Oh, I'm at an impasse. I'm like stuck. What are you stuck with? I don't know what to do next. Okay. Well, it's looking very beautiful. Thank you. I just have cats and flowers. I have glued not a single thing down. So I like, I just cut out a bunch of stuff and then I like to piece all together. So like when I did that live stream of Princess Toadstool, I spent two hours just cutting stuff up. And then I was like, oh, this is ending soon. I should glue things together. And then I was like. See, that is like the complete opposite of yeah. how I do So this it, is a good as blend. As you can see, yeah. I just cut stuff out that I like. And then I find a place for it. <laughs> Unless I'm, like, not sure. Like, I cut this flower out. Mm -hmm. It's and, so beautiful. Yeah, but I'm just, like, not sure yet where I want it to go or where it's going to fit. So it's just over here on the side. But I knew I really wanted this cat. Yeah. And the first time I put these down, like, before when we were talking, I knew I wanted them in the corners here. So, yeah, that's my process. Yeah. It's just Sorry. random. But, you know. I, I still different. think it ends up looking okay. Comment below what your process is. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Comment below. <laughs> we might be the fourth one, but we're the best one. <laughs> yes. Comment below to confirm. So for context for the folks at home, we're the fourth, um, fourth one-take workshop being recorded. Not that it's a competition, and it's not, but... Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm in like two of them. Let's cut. Like I said, it's a competition. <laughs> um, I think there should be an easy bake oven one take workshop. Yeah. That would be so fun. I have an easy bake oven if you need. Oh my gosh, you do? Yeah, my mom got it for me because when I was in high school, I didn't know how to cook anything. <laughs> you know what? I still don't know how to cook anything. I know how to cook. It's just um. So if I don't follow a recipe, I still mess it up. It's bad. It's not too good. Um, I, I like baking more. Baking, I think, is a lot more fun because the end result is a lot more exciting. That's true. I really like making. Yeah. So baking is another like stress free activity for me. We don't have any baking things in the maker space, but we do have a waffle maker. Wait, what? Wait, do we have a, is it a waffle make? No, pancake bot. Oh, we have a yeah, pan the pancake cake bot. robot. I just place it in here and that's yeah, it. So you create it in the software, it can be anything you like. <laughs> I look like I've not shaved, it's like me on a normal day. That is awesome, oh my goodness. I think it looks real tasty. Oh, I do taste good, I do taste good. <laughs> yeah. And we have an egg decorating robot. So, what? Yes, we do. <laughs> What yes. is that like? It like will hold your egg and it will draw on your egg. So we have an axi draw. Have you seen that? Yeah. The axi draw is a robot and pretend this is a pen and my arm is a robot. It just draws whatever you tell it to draw. So we have the same thing, but it will draw on an egg. Wow. Yeah. Just an egg? Just an egg. Oh. <laughs> 
Cool. We have that. So if you need an egg to be decorated, come here. Or might I recommend come here, decorate an egg, use it then for the pancake bot if you want <laughs> some protein in your pancakes. <laughs> but I think we bring out the pancake bot for special events, which we yes, do a lot of fun events here in the makerspace. So yeah. stay tuned. Check out the makerspace website for events. <laughs> Blow. I'm not gonna do so much editing. So sorry. Darius will be like, I am never asking them to do this ever again. I'm thinking that I'm just gonna do a lot of cats. <laughs> do your two cats get along? They do mostly. Okay. Yeah, they mostly get along. They're not like super like. So we had I had Noctis first, mm -hmm. and. Noctis was with me, like, before I met my husband. And then when we moved down here, we had Noctis, but we were gone, you know, at work most of the day. Yeah. We thought he would, was getting lonely and all Aww. that stuff. Um, so we got a kitten, and that was Luna. And Aww. so, like, we didn't get them together, which, like, cat advice that you didn't know you needed. Oh, if I didn't you, know that. If you do get a cat, and Jackson Galaxy will back me up on this. Um, Jackson, if you're watching... So, uh, comment below. <laughs> comment below. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when you get a cat, it's recommended that you get two cats because as much as like people think cats are loners, they're not. I didn't um, know this. Yeah, and so they really like, you know, they're companion animals and so they want a friend. Um, so we got Luna to, as a friend for Noctis and uh -huh. they play together and stuff, but they're not like super cuddly. Like they don't sleep next to each other. Yeah. You won't find them in like a big cat pile. But they don't fight. They don't really fight now. They'll have That's like their good. moments where I think Noctis plays a little too rough and then Luna has to tell them to back off. But uh, other than that, That's no. a good like boundary setting Yes. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but mm -hmm. they don't, they don't fight. Really. My dog's obsessed with cats. Um, so, and my parents have the barn cat and the barn cat is obsessed with Tito, but the barn cat, Tick. So there's Tick, uh, Tic Tac Toe, three different barn cats. Um, <laughs> That's amazing. They were all, and they all were like all black. They just had different color eyes. Oh. And so Tito now, every time he sees a black cat, he's like, I'm going to make this black cat be my best friend. But <laughs> we, so we have a lot of black cats in our neighborhood. Um, they do not like dogs. but Aww. So he just really wants a cat friend. But I'm super allergic, so I would love to not You know what? Them. You're going to – I mean, okay, so. I just need a deal. Yeah. <laughs> so – one thing about collaging is that it can feel like slow and steady. Like I've been cutting out this flower. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, my phone. So this flower has like lots of really detailed ornate edges and I want to cut around the petals. So that's why sometimes the X-Acto knife is helpful. Sometimes I'm just using these sewing scissors because they're really tiny. Um, so it's really personal preference, but it can take a while, but it's okay. I have never felt rushed while doing collaging because yeah. it's, it's relaxing. I literally could sit here for hours. I and could just too. Do this. So, um, <laughs> if you are enjoying this workshop video and you want to see us do other types of collaging, like maybe we do yeah. a creative journaling one, yeah, or anything else, and we will be having comment below, no. comment below. and give a, give this video a like. Yeah, give this video give it a, a thumbs like. up, and then um, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um. And also, we will be having workshops with collaging and creative journaling. Yes, we will. Throughout the upcoming semester in the fall. So stay tuned for more information about that. And it will yes. be awesome. They will be offered throughout the semester, so you can come do this. Y'all saying this like it's over. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to keep dropping information. Stay yeah, tuned. we're just going to drop information, but we're also going to do a big information dump at the end. Yeah. So too much? No. Not enough, one might say. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> I don't have the patience for cutting. This is why <laughs> I think I also use stickers a lot. Yeah, the I cutting. also do a lot of tearing. I like yeah, the tearing. Oh, the raw. Yes. yes. I love, like, that edge. Like, yes. Princess Toadstool ha maybe has She a is beautiful. I could yeah. never make something like Yes, that you male, can. I, when I did the stream, I ma had another collage, and I gave it to the person that runs the streaming lab um oh. that one was a ostrich head on a victorian woman <gasps> that's <so good. laughs> 
she, that is funny. I asked my mom if she liked it, and she said it's different. So. Ah! <laughs> mom speak for no. Yeah, that's yeah. So the great thing about collaging is there's nothing wet. Right. Like painting. I also I love love painting, um, but like you have to clean brushes, um, clean up your space. I can tend to be really messy, so I don't want to get paint on the floor or whatnot. So, but collaging, it's if you get it on the floor, it's a piece of paper. It's okay. Yeah. And also, if you come here in the maker space, um, odds are like there'll be folks to help you clean up. There'll be folks probably collaging with you, mm -hmm. which is very fun. It's fun to make in community. Community. Mm. <laughs> Can we have, okay, have, have a, a rainbow? A rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's like, no, nope, not doing that. <laughs> Moving along. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. I immediately coming to mind, Eleanor Roosevelt, but. Um, <laughs> Whoa, are we going that deep? No, no. I remember I went for a job interview and they asked, like, who it was. Um, I was in college and I was trying to get a, a job just at this random store and they asked, like, who is your fashion inspiration? And I wanted to say Eleanor Roosevelt. Oh my god, you should have. I know. <laughs> and then I kind of panicked and just sat there because I didn't want to say Eleanor Roosevelt because I was afraid I wouldn't get the job. But anyways, <laughs> um, artistic and creative inspiration. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I follow a lot of Instagram accounts for like art inspiration and same with Pinterest. Like just going on Pinterest and seeing what other people make is really exciting. Um, also... I don't know. There's just so many. I don't. I don't know. TikTok, TikTok, yeah. That's where I get. I watched a. I watch. I get a lot of like of those journaling videos on yeah. TikTok. Um, I use that. I use Pinterest too. Pinterest is great. Um, just you know, my own preferences inspire me. Yeah. AKA why I'm making a collage board full of cats. Yeah. Um, same. Like, do I? Because I love cats. Yeah. As you can tell. And I like. <laughs> Did you know that I love cats? A personal inspiration, Dolly Parton. Just oh, for yeah. everything. Did um, you sign up for the the, the book? Yes. Thingy? Yes. So for the viewers at home, while we currently have access to NC State's amazing library, which you should check out all the materials and resources. We do have a robot cat that you can get from Tech Lending. Yes. We'll link that, we'll link that below. Wink, wink. <laughs> um, We're never getting involved. I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, uh, Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, you can, if your child is under five years old, you get, is it a book every month? Mm -hmm. Every month your child can, is eligible to have a book sent to them, which is incredible. Um, for free. And it's part of Dolly Parton's like amazing efforts to support children's literacy, which is incredible because she's amazing. Yes, I um, love it. I love it so much. We love our books that we get. We do. Um, yeah. Yeah, I just love, I like to see on Pinterest what other people make. And mm -hmm. even though I'm not trying to emulate what they're doing, but it's like, oh, I didn't think to like use old CD covers that like I'm not using anymore as part of materials. I like to use a lot of what I have in my house. So like, I like to go shopping through kind of the recycling bin and oh. use that for materials. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm hmm So here's, um... A like creative blunder that I've had okay. with this. So as I'm doing this, I'm realizing I want I probably should have put I really liked this as a background. Yeah, this piece. So I probably should have just done the whole thing first and then started putting stuff on it. But I didn't do that. So instead, I'm just going to cut up pieces <clears throat> and just and fit it, place them in, and it will be fine. If you do use rubber cement, you can peel it off though. You can? Yeah, if you use rubber cement. I think I used... Did I use rubber cement for I you? I don't remember. I know no, you I used it I here, didn't. and then you were like, it smells bad. No, I didn't. Dang but it. that is a pro of using rubber cement, is that nothing is permanent. Contrary to the name cement. Ha ha ha! <laughs> See, like, I'm just going to put this here, maybe rip off this section, and it'll be fine. It will be fine. It will add to the collaginess. Yeah. I think... Here's some ASMR ripping. Yeah. <laughs> Let me do ASMR cutting. 
This, the viewers are getting so much this episode. Telling you. <laughs> Working it's overtime. It's not a competition. Here. It's not. But. Oh, also. Um, oh, no, y'all gotta compete with 10 minutes left. Oh, That's okay. Tough. That is really tough. You know how cool he is? He's really he is cool. cool. He's really cool. He's cool. <laughs> He's and cool. I feel like I'm. I don't know. I mean, I don't think that about you, Kelsey. But I feel like I am just like kind of a nerdy mom right now. I am like, also a nerdy mom, but I think you're very cool. Oh, thanks. I think yeah. you're cool too. I think you're so nice. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you are too. And if you want to hang out with us more, come to oh. some of the femme. Fem space events, yeah, with like fem making, fem game night, and fem beat making, which yep. Tim is also involved in the fem beat making with Marika. So, so even if you think we're not cool, there's other cool people. There's other cooler cool people, people than us. Cooler people involved. Um, yeah. See, you can't even tell. You can't even tell. Oh, that, that like, looks so good. I had to like place the thingy there. It's like retro wallpaper for your cat. Queen's yes. Gambit cat. Oh. Yeah, I'm like been cutting out this dried piece of wood for ages. Um, <laughs> you have been. I know. It's why I do this. Well, I want to put it in this fishbowl. I think I'm cutting up pieces for two very different collages. Um, that is. I feel yeah. like you are too. Yeah, we've got um, girl with the pearl earring. <gasps> Oh Ooh, my gosh, like but I'm going to give yeah. her like a fish earring or like a crab earring, Ooh, <gasps> a lobster earring. That is a good idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like where you're what you're thinking of. I'm trying to think what else do we have in the maker space? So the maker space um I think also, the, all, one of the greatest resources of the makerspace are the students who work in it. Yeah, the student staffers are amazing. They're like they experts. They are super awesome and yes. I have come in here um like several times and been like I don't know how to do this thing can you help me get and set they will up? help you and yeah and they will help me and they don't necessarily know that I like work here because sometimes <laughs> it's folks I've never even met before um and they're still super nice so. yeah it's like build a bear workshop but for stuff that you're doing for classes um oh that's nice and then also that one before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and then um uh, also, importantly, everything in the makerspace is free for you to be using. Yeah. So you don't have to pay um, out of pocket. You already, everything included here is part of your student fees, um, your technology fees that we pay every semester. I pay them too. <laughs> so come get great use out of those fees that we have to pay. And yes. so it's all included. You have everything in here is free to use. So come, come take advantage of it. Do it. <laughs> make you can make buttons. I don't know if you can see behind us. We have button making. Um, we have knitting. We have a vacuum former. Um, a vacuum. Former? A vacuum former. So if what is that? So say. I actually don't know what that if is. If you wanted to like create, well, I saw. So I'll give a better example than saying let's vacuum former this microphone. If you <laughs> wanted to make Justin made a garden gnome. Uh-huh. By doing a 3D model of it with a 3D printer. Uh-huh. And then he used the vacuum former to make a mold of it and filled it with concrete. And oh. then he had a perfect little no- It's basically making a, a mold of oh. whatever you want. Oh, that's cool. So if you, like, I guess for a class, if you needed to make, I don't know, a model of something and you had, like, your water bottle and you were supposed to be creating something like a water bottle-esque, you could come in and vacuum form your water bottle or not your hand that sounds dangerous but who knows an apple for a twilight remake oh kelsey knows what the people want Mm -hmm. um when i was in high school i made so we had to do a video this was my peak art this is i should have done this in our art class darian i made me and my friend we made a mashup of hamlet and twilight we called it hamlight that does sound peak it was I've, I've never been more brilliant than I was <laughs> in that moment. <laughs> That's what I should be doing for my dissertation, actually. What are you doing for your dissertation? I am making a cookbook with local oh. businesses and food folks in our community. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. To talk about how um, we learn and make with food to practice care. Because making with food and cookbooks are historically feminized. As oh. is like collaging and a lot of crafty things like knitting, crocheting, yeah. using the cricket, yeah. um, 
things that are seen as crafting are usually feminized and not taken as seriously, but things like using 3D printers, doing 3D modeling and engineering, that is historically more masculine. And so when we go to an engineering institution, I think it's really important to yeah. bring in a lot of that historically underrepresented and under legitimized forms of making, which the makerspace has a lot of support for. Like this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Girl power. Mm -hmm. Look at my patchwork. Oops. My patchwork, I think, is coming together nicely. Yeah. Um, so here's my collage. So same amount of time. <laughs> this is our progress check. <laughs> I truly like to just like cut as much as I can and then glue it all together when I have to. And this is my process yeah. of cutting things out as I see them and then having it happen yeah there's no right or wrong way people exactly that's so, what this show i'm gonna start i think trying to glue some things down let's see i think i'll also use that pretty wallpaper-esque situation will i will i yeah no yeah uh. <laughs> she doesn't even know i don't know she doesn't even know because the cardboard is great because it's such like a blank canvas yeah i like yeah okay that's so, fair mm -hmm. i yeah I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll add more to it. I'm gonna borrow the rubber cement. Part of Go reach. for it. Okay, <gasps> okay perfect. 20 more minutes! I could do this for five more hours. So true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, 20 Can I just like cancel the rest of my day and just stay in here and do this? <laughs> yeah. I wish. I, so as a rule of thumb, so I've been at NC State as a student. I'm going on my 10th year as a Whoa. student here. I know. It's ridiculous. <gasps> Yeah, I know. So I have, ever since I was a first year student here at NC State, I found it really valuable to my mental well-being to take a more creative outlet class. So like for me, that was like doing literature classes because I got to like engage creatively and alongside like my very, so I was trying to engage right brain, left brain with my s syllabus and schedules. So if I was in a really intensive chemistry, biology lab classes i also wanted to take literature classes and so my background's in english literature so it worked out very well so i tried to make sure my classes kind of help support a little room for relaxation and also um talk to your professors about final if you have a final project rather than a final exam oftentimes they will be far more receptive to you proposing kind of creative projects that support a little bit more wellness than maybe what they have in their syllabus. So just talk to them and be like, oh, I'm really interested in even making like a, a poster collage alongside of a process paper about the Shakespeare play or alongside of my argumentative essay oh. for poli sci. Like I want to make, um, like a poster for a social justice issue that I then display somewhere. That So that is engaging in some creative processes, which I think can be a little more relaxing, a little more, I don't know. When, thing, when you get to make something and there's, I don't know. To me, that is what has always helped me in my classes. And just prioritizing your own wellness is very important. Like I think mm -hmm. I put a lot of pressure on myself to go to every single class to make sure everything was perfect and fighting that perfectionism is so important, which is why collaging is so fun because it doesn't have to be perfect. So taking that as a lesson to your life is very, very important. Dang. I, I don't know how I can top that. Although I will say the point you made about the literature classes is yeah. really interesting to me because when I was in college, I was a history major, mm -hmm. and but I took a lot of English classes, like every semester. Like I, I almost them. thought I should have taken, I, sh I should have had English as a minor, mm -hmm. um, because I almost had enough classes with just, and I just took them for fun because yeah. I liked reading and I liked thinking about books critically and, yeah. and all that stuff. Hence why I'm a librarian. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was kind of that's just like really. Yeah resonated with me yeah i've gotten to teach english classes here at nc state so before i was the librarian gea i was working in the english department as teaching literature courses and it was just the absolute best experience and we did creative classes activities like this and it was very fun so below website to the english department <laughs> take their classes um so in terms of like the semester so i 
I'm not not in school, mm -hmm. and I do not take any classes. Um, but the semester is still stressful for me because yeah. I am planning a lot of the events that the library mm -hmm. hosts for you all, um, and I love doing that. Um, but one thing that kind of like helps me de-stress besides like doing kind of crafty things, like I also like to game and mm -hmm. other things like that. So, but besides that too, I always like to remind myself. For me specifically, and I mean, I think you made this point when you were talking about, like, to making sure that, like, you're taking care of yourself yeah. first. You don't have to go to every single class if you need to skip a class, whatnot. So for me, it's just a reminder that, like, this is just a job. Yes, and that it's just a job. What's yeah. really important is, like, when I come home and my family and things like that. And, like, you know, that's what's more important to yeah. me. Um, not that my job isn't important, but mm -hmm. just remembering that, like, mm -hmm. this is just a job and yep. I don't have to take that stress home with yes. me. I completely agree. And, like... I know with school it's a little bit harder because, like, you're on campus yeah. and you're taking classes and you have work that you need to finish. But maybe finding time to kind of escape all that yeah. um, is, is kind of where I would... I would model that. And not putting too much on your plate. I think that is a really hard yes. thing about college is like there's a lot of pressure to not – in addition to your classes, you're also supposed to be doing extracurriculars and you're supposed to be – you're trying to find internships and jobs. And so it feels like there's a lot of pressure to put – have a full plate at all times. And as I've spent more and more time here at NC State, I've realized how important it is for mental wellness and just my own personal – happiness to not have a full plate in fact i tried to keep a small plate mm -hmm. that way like my the things that make me happy like my family take precedent on my plate um so if that means that i have to take also in undergrad i felt so pressured to respond to emails so fast oh yeah mm -hmm. not anymore and that's okay i used to feel like my professor is waiting for me to respond to this email <laughs> they're not i promise you they are not, unless it's been two months and they've emailed you 16 times. Then maybe. Maybe, but, mm, mm And just be, like, when I was teaching in the English department, like, I ask your professors if they'll offer extensions because that's probably also the case. Like, we, everyone at this university wants you to succeed. Mm -hmm. Happily so. Yes. And be well and succeeding. So your librarians are here to support you, your professors too. Yes. So... Come to the library. Come to the library. And we will also be having crafting resilience events throughout the semester where we do things like collaging, knitting, watercolor painting, zine making. So if collaging perhaps isn't your favorite mode of craft, there's others that promote wellness and relaxation in community at the library as well. Like slime making. Yes, I made cool. slime. Yeah. It was so fun. <laughs> she was so excited. <laughs> I mean, I was like, I was at Hunt just, you know, for, I don't know, I had to be at Hunt for something. And I was leaving and I saw the little table with the slime and I stopped and made slime. It's really fun. It is so fun. So we're also part of like a larger department that has all sorts of spaces and labs and studios. The studios, in fact. Connected. The studios. The, the studios. Big letters. Mm, 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 the mm, studios mm. connected to making, to connected to student making. <laughs> so if you really enjoy making with VR technology or playing with VR technology. Or you've, if you've never tried VR technology. If you haven't tried and you would like to learn. I So when I was getting my master's degree here at NC State, I learned how to make and build with VR tools in the VR studio here. And I made a whole VR game in a semester. Oh my god, you did? Yeah, it was ridiculous. I don't know wow. why I did that. I made, um, <laughs> That's amazing. I made a room, and that was it. But I was really proud of it. <laughs> hey, I don't know if I could have done that. It was, um, well, I remember I went in, and Colin was like, this could take like a year. You can totally do this in a year. And I was like, I have three months. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. It is, like, it is very true. fun in here. I will say, like, people come in here socially a uh -huh. lot of times too so if you're like i really have no interest in making just come in here and hang out with your friends while they make stuff like people will come in here and there's one person using the sewing machine and there's three people helping them and talking to them 
this is a very fun, which I love. Like, growing up, you think libraries are very quiet. Yes. I remember I told my doctor when I was in high school, like, oh, they were like, what What do you want to do when you grow up? And I was like, oh, I want to be a librarian. And they were like, well, library. Did you really say that? I did. Oh. But then I didn't pursue it because my doctor said that libraries were going to die. Wow. That they were going to be extinct, which is, is not this? true. Who is this doctor? I know. <laughs> Send them to me. So, um, but so we think of libraries as being really quiet, solitude spaces, and yeah. I will say, like NC State libraries are not. You can find that, but it is not that. Like it's actually right. a creative making space. Like throughout the whole library, and especially in the maker space, um, it's actually quite loud in here. So this is not a good study space. <laughs> um, I've also seen like lots of people use like three D printers and things, and like work on cosplay in here. <gasps> yes. And kind of talk with other folks about it and all sorts of making. So I ended up doing the idea of like all of these lunar moths. <laughs> yeah, I love that though. I they found look a like big fireflies. one and I'm gonna do all the little ones. But I have like two on my on the front, there's like these two cats that now I don't know like I'm, I need to have a couple other cats so that I can balance it out. Like yeah. maybe put two cats around here, maybe a couple cats here, and then a bunch of moths. I like the butter. The butterflies why? are so beautiful. I don't know why. And the shells. <laughs> I'm feeling... I've just been really into lunar moths lately. <gasps> oh, fishes. So I have two collages going. I've got this little situation, because I love... Oh my god, you did one on each... Yeah, I have this one, <laughs> and then I've idea. got... This one's a little, like, plain. I want to add, like, a lot of fish. Like, this is one contained fish, but I want it to be, like, an entire ocean of something. Ooh. So I don't know. I want to add... I just found this page with a bunch of, like, sharks and, like... This this scary fish that's in Finding Nemo, with has the, the angler fish, angler fish, yeah, <sighs> scary. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I will ever interact with one, but like, just in case, just in case, I'm terrified. Scary. I'm trying to think. Um, and we do have other wellness things with the library is that we have. The companion animals will sometimes come in. The dog, Delilah. Oh, yes. We have pause. Pause, pause for, for pause. 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 For pause. That's how pause. my mom and Nana talk. They say like, pause. My oh, Nana's from I Long Island. That. So she's like, we got to pause oh for God. the coffee and the dog. And See, like, I was going to say, I was like, you have. Do I really? Yeah, I can hear it. It's, it's, it's oh, really? Away, Thank you. I can't yeah. hear it. It's very but subtle. My mom a has a very... Accent. My mom's accent... Like, growing up, I didn't know that my mom... Because uh, we all have accents. Everyone has an accent. You just can't perceive your own. So, like, I never noticed that, like, my mom has a New York accent until, like, people that are outside my family pointed out. And I'm like, okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe. So, this collage is going to end up being... Just things that I like. Like, I'm oh. really into lunar moths right now, and I, love I really that. love cats. There we go. Do you see That's lunar my moths theme. at your house? No. Okay, so it's so random. Like, I've seen... I recently got um, a print of mm -hmm. a lunar moth um, from, like, I was some, like, craft arts festival in Cary. Oh! Um, and I bought this, like... Uh, what's it called? The thing where you cut the thing and then you print it. The cricket? No, 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 no. It's like, it's an art form. It's like... Mod Podge. <laughs> Hold on. Art form where you cut the thing. Where you like cut your stamp, basically. It's like a big giant stamp. <gasps> oh, yes. It's a um, wood block. Yes, yes. So it's oh, like right. a print like Beautiful. that. Beautiful. Of a lunar moth. And it oh. has like different colors and everything. And it looks really cool. And so like, I got that because I thought it was really pretty. And yes. then I became obsessed with lunar moths. And then... Once, like, soon after I got that, so I saw a lunar moth Aww. that was injured at Her when we were going to Harris Teeter, and I hate bugs, okay? Yeah. I hate bugs. I hate the outdoors. <laughs> I hate touching, like, it grosses me out. But I saw this lunar moth, like, struggling They're, to aw. fly, oh, and so it was, sad. like, on the hot pavement, and there were, like, plants nearby, and aw. so I went you over, it. and I picked it up. Which surprised myself, but I was just so like I picked Need it up and I it. moved it over to the plant, and then it just was like chilling on the plant. Yeah. And then I looked up later that apparently lunar moths—they're rare to see because they live very short lives. Aww. Like they're caterpillars for a really long time, but when they turn into moths, yeah, they only live for like seven to ten days because they don't have mouths. So how do they? So they sustain themselves on everything they ate when they were a caterpillar. 
And that's why they only live, live for like 10 days. That's tragic. I know. That's horrible. I know. So I'm just They're like. They're beautiful. Yeah. That's so, so sad. Um, so then it, although it did make me feel better because like if the lunar moth just like stayed on that plant that whole time or like lived. That's like, a peaceful existence. Right. Exactly. For its yeah. week of existence. Because I was worried like, oh my God, it do- it's injured. It can't fly. How's it going to find yeah. food? It doesn't need food. That's so anyways, true. Um, so yes, that's, it, that's my lunar moth where that recent obsession has come from. Any other events that you would like to share with the people? Um, oh geez. I don't know. We just, we have a lot of events this semester. Um, so I'm sure you'll find something. If you check out our website, um, you'll find an event for you. Yeah. And that list, like those events will be up. Um, oh, actually, no, this is airing in the fall, so. They will be up by the time you watch this. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, at the libraries, we're a fun bunch, most of us. And so, <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> Come on by. <laughs> I will say, like, every, the library has such a beautiful infrastructure of care. Like, I think... She I'm so elegant with her no, words. No, <laughs> so I met Laura via email, and then ne- within That's 24 so eight hours, Laura had left, like, bags of baby clothes on my desk. Yeah. And that was just the nicest thing. Like, I will never forget that. It was Aww, so nice. So, I so and I just good. think it, like... It was like, I did, I mean, yes, I would have so done nice. that. I, like, just found out that you were going to have a baby. Yeah. And I had just come back from maternity leave. Yeah. And I was so excited about being a mom and then yeah. also knowing somebody who was going to be a new mom. And so I just, like, wanted to support in any way because I knew how yeah. hard it was. And, um, yeah, so. Well, you're just. Even though I didn't so know nice. you and I just randomly emailed you. But it was so you. nice. And, like, I will say, like, um, oh. uh, uh, like, I just think the library, if you go up to a librarian or anyone that works in this library and say, if you're like, I need a Band-Aid, we will find you a Band-Aid. If yeah, you're like, Band-Aids. where can I, like, if you just ask any question, odds are someone in the library can help you even if it's not a library's related question yeah i use is it the chat now feature on the website for every question i have ever had about <gasps> anything related to nc state even if you're in the library and you don't feel like getting up to ask this question you can just chat and yeah. say hey what is this what do i do with hey, this what do i do Hey, the people in the study room are being too loud. Can someone help me and make Somebody them not them be loud? Need to be quiet. Yeah, and we will. We yes. will. Yes. I I'm I don't like this fish one. This one is not speaking to me. So I'm gonna focus on this one. <laughs> These I would love to cut out, but this would probably be so time consuming to cut out because of all the um, pricks. What are those thorns? Yeah, you, when you cut stuff out, like, I'm just probably gonna, I would just, like, go around it yeah. and have this little white border. Oh, but I like all Whatever. these flowers, too. I don't know. Does it look okay? It looks great! Oh, thanks. I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> Where are your favorite places to be in the library? Um, Any library. Because mm-hmm. we have a lot of libraries, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. And okay, then, I'll pick one in each. Okay, and then I want to know your favorite chair in each library, too. Ooh, that one I know. Okay. That one I know very easily. <laughs> um, okay, so first favorite place. My favorite place in the hill is the VR studio. Mm-hmm. Because I had never tried VR before I started working here, and it is so fun. Mm-hmm. And I really like the VR studio because it's a fun place to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and then my favorite place at Hunt is the fifth floor Skyline Reading Room. Because oh, yeah. it's just so pretty. Mm-hmm. And like I feel like if I was a student here, that's where I would probably like yeah. to study. Because mm-hmm. um, I love all the natural light and everything. And then the other question, what was it? Oh, my favorite, favorite chair. chair. Mm-hmm. So my favorite chair. I don't know where it is at Hunt, but I know we have that. Well, I know where it is in the staff areas at mm-hmm. Hunt. But um, so my favorite chair is the Eames Lounge Chair. Ooh, can you describe it for the people? Oh, yeah. So it's that classic, if you look, it's the classic Eames chair, which you wouldn't, you might not know what that is. But anyways, <laughs> it's like this wooden chair. Okay. And it has like a, it has like these black leather cushions. Ooh. And it has like, you know, a back headrest here. And then it has black cushions. And then it has like a stool. 
that's also black leather. Oh, um, fancy. Yeah, but it it is very fancy, and it is so comfortable. Yeah. So comfortable. And it wouldn't look comfortable, but it's so comfortable. And uh, we have a couple in the West Wing uh, on the second floor. I love In that the one wing. study space that's like, I think it's officially called the living room. Oh, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, and that's where you will, I don't know why. That's where you will find that here. Yes. Um, I don't know. I feel like we do have them somewhere at Hunt for students, but I don't know where exactly. But we comment do have below them if you know where that chair is at Hunt. Yes. And also comment below about what your favorite chair is. Yes. Comment about your favorite chair. I like when I, I like my favorite place to study was the East Wing. I called it the Harry Potter room. I don't know what it's called. It's on the other side oh, of the, the gallery. Quiet reading the room. quiet reading room. Or the, With yeah. the wooden tables and the wooden chairs. Just, yeah. It feels serious in there. And I would go in there and be like, I have, to, I have to study. It felt like I would perform my studiousness in there. And I liked going in there. Um, and then I, yeah, I love the West Wing air, study air, the living room, I guess yeah. it's called. There's like, yeah, you can lay down chairs and oh, it's just very you can take nice. take a nap. Yeah, it's great. Um, at Hunt, I don't know, I don't go to Hunt a whole bunch. Um, but I like, my favorite spot in Hunt is the yellow staircase that like, where you go into the yellow tunnel. It feels like I'm being beamed up into the Wizard of Oz. Is that the one that goes up to the fifth floor? I think so. Wizard of Oz meets Apple Store meets <laughs> um, Wes Apple Anderson Store. movie. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Somebody do a TikTok trend. Yeah. Of the <gasps> Wes Anderson movie oh, in the Hunt Library. That w- Darian. <laughs> I was like, what are we going to talk about for an hour and a half? And we've been nonstop talking, actually. Okay. Also, a collage, collaging hack, cheat, if you will. So this has, like, all these really detailed edges, and I um, don't have the time slash don't want to cut out every single individual petal. So I, what I did was I just cut out a few and then did my own zigzags. So it still looks like it has that detail. But it's not as time consuming as cutting out every single individual thing because it's not worth it for me right now. <laughs> put the mop on his head. Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's like a little crown. You know, because, okay, this is, I mean, I just thought of this now. Okay. Uh, so I picked this gray cat because it looks like my gray cat, although this mm-hmm. is, I think, a British short hair and my cat is not that. Mm-hmm. Um, but, anyways. My cat, my gray cat, her name is Luna. And this is a lunar moth on top of her head. I love that. Um, I love it. It brings me joy. Yes. We gave Darian some extra work to do. Yeah. Sorry, He was not expecting that when he asked us to do this Instant regret. (laughs) Instant regret. (laughs) Big bold letters. (laughs) The, like, post-production on this video. (sighs) Post-production. This video may be the fourth one you see <laughs> because post production is going You to may take never a long see time. it. <laughs> you may not see it until the spring and then everything we've said is not going to mean anything yeah. to you. Oh goodness. Okay. Last 5 minutes. Well, it's probably last minute now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Thank you for Party tuning words. in. Party thank words. you for tuning in. I hope you collage and again like we have a lot of stuff here, and we're playing with lots of different things, but collaging is can be simply a newspaper, a magazine that you have, an old piece of mail that you were going to recycle or throw away. You just need paper and glue, some kind of adhesive. That's all you need. You can rip it. You can tear it. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah. if you're looking for, like, if you're looking for a break, if you are in the library studying and you want a break and yes. the makerspace is open, you can come in here and use the materials that we are using today and just collage or cut yeah. or whatever. Um, or find something else in the makerspace that you want to do. But um, There's all sorts of stuff here for you. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff. And the biggest thing is, like, I thought what was really helpful was when we talked about how we're hobby collectors. Like, if you yeah. want to try something new and mm-hmm. you don't want to shell out the cash to do it, Come here yeah. and try it because more likely than not, we, we have, we have some, the stuff for it. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna fall out of this chair. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> and be sure to check our website for events. Website for um, <laughs> for <laughs> events and workshops. So if you're like, yeah. if it feels too intimidating to come in, please do come in. But just know that we have all sorts of stuff where you can also come and learn how to sew or create in community. 
And Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Wait, I want to see the collage. Oh, oh, the collages. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Let's okay. see. Okay. So this is my collage, a collage of the things that are most pertinent in my mind right now, which are my cats, which are yeah. always on my mind. And I like mops. that one. Aww. And I just started putting some flowers around the cat because... We love flowers. Because we love flowers. And this is what I mean when I say, like, I just can't stop. I just yeah. keep seeing things I want to add. So eventually there's probably going to be more stuff on yeah. here. We should do a part two. We should just keep going. And then this is my... <laughs> this is number one. Um, the girl with the lobster earring who doesn't have a lobster earring yet. <laughs> uh, I'm going to find a lobster and add it to. But I just like to add things. Same. I just find stuff I like and just keep adding it. And then this is the other one. I'm going to – this isn't speaking to me yet. It needs something, like a vampire in the background. Something. Like maybe a desert scape. I'm not – something. Comment below what should go here. And then – Maybe you will enter a raffle and you can you can win. You will never finish the collage. <laughs> I know. Because it's only three months from now. We're gonna have a part two. <laughs> yeah, where we finish th this collage and I do another one. Yeah. Comment below <laughs> if you want to see part two. Yeah. <laughs> hey, and we're cool. watching for more library content like this leave a like and comment on the video also if you have any questions about the techniques or topics we talked about reach out to us using the links in the description so until next time peace